Today I'm going to model how writers and illustrators use shapes to help them when they're drawing and how they add lots of details. Let's pretend that I am writing a story about playing outside on a playground and I want to draw the different parts of the playground but sometimes that feels tricky. I don't know how to make a slide very good so I can use shapes to help me. I can think of circles and triangles and rectangles to help me make things in the world. So when I think of a slide, I'm going to kind of make some steps going up, just some lines, some straight lines, and I'll add some steps. And then when I think of the slide, I can think of kind of maybe a rectangle shape going down. And that kind of looks like a slide doesn't need to be perfect. I'm just trying my best. At the playground, there was also some monkey bars. So I want to think of what shape that kind of might be on my illustration, kind of going up. I can make my shape. It was, it was a kind of a monkey bar, like a, like a dome. So I'm going to make kind of a half circle dome like that. And then you could climb across it kind of a round shape. Those are the monkey bars you could go across. So I think of a shape to help me draw something tricky. At this park there were a lot of trees. It was a very nice playground. So I'm going to use a rectangle shape for the trunk and then kind of a circle shape for my branches. I like to make it kind of bumpy, maybe like a cloud shape. That's a good one. And then there was up like this thing you could spin, you could hold on and you could spin around. And so that really makes me think of an oval shape here. That's what you stood on. And then there was a handle here and an oval shape to hang on to. And it kind of went into the ground like that. So I think of shapes to help me draw things that are tricky. Writers and illustrators want to add lots of Details, details, can you say details? Details are little added parts to your picture that make it more interesting and it makes more sense. I've already got four different parts and four details, but I could add a few more details. It was a really sunny day, so I'm going to use kind of a circle shape to represent the sun. And of course, I need to be in the story because it's my story and I was there. So I'm going to draw my body. I think of a circle shape for my head, maybe a rectangle or square for my body. Of course, I need arms, and fingers. I need details for my face, of course. I wear glasses, so I don't want to forget that detail. I'm going to make some legs, maybe some circle shoes, and there I am at the park. I have lots of parts at my park, lots of details. I've used shapes to help me draw things that are tricky. Good luck, writers!